Megan O'Leary here with Mark Bocek. Mark just defeated John Alessio tonight here at UFC 145 in Atlanta. That's two in a row. You've got to be happy to get back to those winning ways, putting a streak together. Yeah, it was a very tough fight. Um, I'm my biggest critic, so I wish round two and three would have looked more like the first. But uh, his experience showed he's a he's a very tough of a po tough opponent. He may not be a, a super specialist in every area, but he's he's a very experienced veteran. So you know that can make him the a, a very tough type of opponent, which he was. Yeah, now you trained most of your training camp for Matt Wyman. Your opponent got switched. John Alessio did fill in. John's got, like you said, way more experience. He's got a ton of fights. Did you feel like that actually made him a more dangerous opponent than Matt Wyman would have been? It's hard to say exactly who would have been tougher. They, they're not completely different types of opponents. Uh, they're very scrappy and cagey and well-rounded. Uh, you know, John more experience overall. Wyman more current UFC experience. But uh, to say who would be tougher, it's... It's really hard to say. John's got a, a lot of experience, obviously, and a few good, uh, you know, tough wins recently. But, uh, you know, it's hard. he's a tough opponent, so it's hard to say. Right. So, you know, you did most of your camp for Matt Wyman, and then it's got to be a little bit frustrating when, when it changes two weeks before. Is that something where you really focus your style, okay, let's, let's modify this for John Alessio, or is that something where you just work on the skills that you think you're going to need in the octagon no matter who the opponent well, a couple things. As a fighter, you have to be ready to adjust and adapt. Uh, just like things can change in a fight, you have to be ready for uh, opponent or situation change. Uh, I studied his, I studied his fights. I saw what his strengths was, but you know, ultimately, as an in, as an intelligent MMA fighter, I try to take my strengths to my opponent's weaknesses. And on top of that, he's not a completely different opponent than, than Matt Wyman. They're both experienced, and they'll kind of fight you, try and fight you anywhere. Um, but, uh, you know, I knew he tried to use a lot of footwork, and he would obviously try to keep the fight standing up. But, uh, you know, he, he did a good job. He's a tough opponent. I, I still have a lot to work on, but uh, a win's a win. Talk to me about your team at TriStar, because you have guys like Faraz and then all your training partners who are up there, incredibly talented team. How do they help you prepare for a camp? And does it help when you have so many other guys who are also in camp at the same time for the same card? Uh, yeah, Faraz is great. Uh, he's a very good coach he's a uh, you know he trains himself he, he understands what it's like to train and he's competed himself for many years there's very high level strain, training partners uh, he's very good at developing a, a strategy for me um, it's it's been very tremendous he's uh, he's helped me a lot and uh, I look forward to my next camp there all right and there's a big fight in New Jersey coming up we've got Diaz ver uh, versus Miller who do you think is gonna come out on top in that fight and why Good question. Hard to say. That's a that's a tough fight. You know, uh, Diaz definitely has the range in the boxing, uh, but Miller's shown. You know, he he can he can handle quick blitz uh, storms. You know, like he did with Melvin Gillard, and he's got good cardio and he's got better wrestling than Diaz. Um, a very competitive fight, I think. Um, it's really hard to say. If you make me choose, I'll say Miller, but could go either way. All right, I'm going to talk to you after the fight. We'll see if we'll see if you got that right. <laughs> All right, congratulations on the win, Mark. Thank you very Thanks. Much.